Here I've got my BeatStep Pro and my Pocket Operator PO12. As you can see the screen is broken on the PO12 so I've become a little more reckless with experimenting with this device because I'm a little less afraid of breaking it even further and they're already pretty inexpensive. So what I'm trying to do today is use the voltage that comes out of the BeatStep Pro to trigger the pocket operator and I've had some success. Uh, the way I do it is I just use the regular sync cables, uh, regular stereo cables and alligator clips and I've got the ground going to just grasping onto one of the casings of these buttons to make a ground connection and then for each uh, of the triggers I have the voltage going to the bottom left pin of one of these pocket operator switches. So I can use the alligator clips to move those around to trigger different tones. And it actually works. So if I hit play, got the pocket operator playing. Seems like it stays in, in sync pretty good. Now as far as the, the voltage goes, I hooked up my uh, my meter to these connections that are coming out of the back of the BeatStep Pro and as long as I set this drum trigger the knob setting to gate I can safeguard against sending too much voltage so you can use the knobs to kind of turn down the trigger voltage and with my voltmeter I was able to to make sure that I could keep the voltage below 3 volts which is as I understand it what the buttons on the PO12 expect so it might be dangerous I might eventually blow it up but it works for now so I'm going to keep doing it so this gives me the ability to you know use beat repeat and things like that in BeatStep Pro that kind of thing. So, um, I don't know, I think I'm going to keep playing around with it. I'm not too worried right now, but uh, if you know anything about what damage I could be doing, if you understand the PO12 better than me, you have any advice, please let me know.